हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर पारिजात राम त्रिपाठी कंसल्टेंट पीडियाट्रिक गैस्ट्रोएंट्रोलॉजिस्ट एंड हेपेटोलॉजिस्ट एट अंकुरा हॉस्पिटल आई एम हेडिंग दिस डिपार्टमेंट ओवर लास्ट थ्री टू फोर इयर्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल प्रॉब्लम इन डाउन सिंड्रोम किड्स मेनी ऑफ अस नो मेनी ऑफ अस डोंट नो दैट डाउन सिंड्रोम इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट क्रोमोसोमल मोस्ट कॉमन क्रोमोसोमल प्रॉब्लम इन चिल्ड्रेन डाउन सिंड्रोम किड्स हैव एक्स्ट्रा ट्वेंटी वन क्रोमोसोम so that is why a lot of things are different in these kids so gastrointestinal problems in down syndrome children are different from the other kids so it can be starting from mouth to anus that involves our food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine there can be some different problems for the people who are taking care of down syndrome children and for the parents of down syndrome children this is important to know some few points that if the child is having too much of vomiting or green color vomiting or you feel the tummy is too tight or child is not able to pass his stool that may be indicative of some obstruction or what we say some narrowing in the lumen of our gastrointestinal tract anywhere what we commonly say stenosis or atresia that is more common in children with down syndrome kids we need to uh, detect this problem early because they may need surgery or some urgent medical therapy for all this other than that as we all know that down syndrome children have uh, muscle weakness their muscles are not that strong as any other kid so the same weakness may be there inside our gastrointestinal system so they may have more vomiting or they may have different stooling pattern or more constipation so even constipation problems because of the type of food they are taking the constipation rates may be higher in down syndrome children then there is another problem at birth there may be some problem in the motion area what we call imperforate anus or hirschsprung disease these diseases are more common in down syndrome children which may need surgery then as the child grows there can be problems related with malabsorption there is something called as celiac disease which is gluten uh, sensitivity so the down syndrome children can have celiac disease more commonly so other than all the gastrointestinal problems and everything what i want to emphasize is as a society we should be more inclusive and more supportive to the children suffering with the down syndrome and all the families and caregivers who are supporting to these kids thank you